40-year-old Terrence Lewis hugged and kissed his parents and son a day after a judge threw out his conviction for a 1996 West Philadelphia murder. For 21 years, he had been fighting to be exonerated of the crime, but nobody in the court system would listen until Judge Barbara McDermott took the time to examine new evidence and threw out his conviction. I was stunned. I was shocked. I was amazed. And um, I was humbled. He was only 17 when the wrongly convicted juvenile lifer was sent to prison. But at that moment, when the judge threw out the conviction 21 years later, he says it was like a whole bottle of years and years of emotion began pouring out. It's still pouring out. It's still pouring out. Uh, going before Judge McDermott, and like I said, I thank her. I thank Barbara McDermott. She's the leading light of that bench. Attorney David Leger stuck with him pro bono for 10 years because he strongly believed in his innocence. Is he disheartened it took this long to get him freed? No, I'm encouraged. And at the end of the day, uh, right has uh, come to pass. Took longer than we would hope, but at least we got to this point. And attorney Kevin Harden, who grew up in the same neighborhood as Lewis and knows how easily innocent men can fall into traps, also worked on the case for five years, and he doesn't normally do homicide cases. Representing Terrence has been the biggest privilege and dream of my life. And now, hopefully, Terrence will have the opportunity to live every privilege and dream that he has for his life. I've been doing this since yesterday morning. I mean, yesterday at the end was Lewis' son, Zaire, wasn't even born when he was sent to prison. He's now 21. Clearly, he has a lot of catching up to do, but first, he needs to get back Back on his feet. So I have started me a, a GoFundMe page and you know to hopefully you know I me mean, um, get assistance with helping me get back on my feet. Because um, that right now the reality is you know I'm practically homeless.